y'all this is star with sparkle designs by star i just want to welcome you back to my channel and i want to share with you a um necklace tutorial that we're going to do from the um september bargain bead box so these are the items from the september bead box these are the z beads right here and these are the chevron um, crystal beads and we're going to make a pendant using these um, beads and then i'm going to do a layering necklace i'm going to make a pendant and we're going to use the chain for the longer piece of the necklace i'm going to use the chain from the box and we're also going to make some links using um, some of the other beads but first we're going to i'm going to show you how to make this pendant i um was inspired by pinterest um, i saw a pendant and i thought i could recreate it so we're going to use um i don't have any copper wire so i'm going to use this bronze it's an antique bronze i do believe vintage bronze and i got this from hobby lobby and this is 20 gauge wire so we're going to um i'm going to cut a piece of wire let's zoom out a little i'm going to cut a piece of wire and i'm not measuring so um we have one piece here and we're going to need one more piece and the second piece needs to be a little bit longer because we're going to wrap around our beads so here's the longer piece okay first of all we're going to put our beads i'm just going to close this off right here so my beads don't fall off we're going to put our beads on and i'm going to start with the z beads we're going to do one and a crystal we're going to alternate them until we got them all on our wire okay so let's get that so this is what we have so far. So we're going, we have them just like this, okay? Now we're going to take our extra piece of wire and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna cross this wire around this other one and I'm gonna just hold them together and wrap this one around this first wire just like this okay and let's see if we can squish that together seems to be proving difficult and i'm just squishing the wires together so that they are even okay now we're going to take one of our beads and we're going to push it up we're going to push it up straighten out this wire a little bit we're gonna push one of our beads up to our wire and we're gonna come around and it's gonna look just like this oops there we go pull it on around like this right here we are like okay like this and we're gonna wrap it around right beside our bead just like this so that now our wi our wire is coming this way now we're going to scoot up another bead like this and we're going to hold it in place and we're going whoops I'm trying to do it so you can see up and over our wire we're doing over our wire going over and around and back up making sure that they're close together just like this okay bring up another bead and we're going up and over and down and we're going to wrap once and back around and then we're going to do another bead and we're going to hold it in place we're holding it as tight up against this wire as we can get it and go around up and over wrap our wire 
and pull and that way we're trying we're securing our beads to our wire okay there we go now we're going up and over this bead and it's a little difficult working with wire but I mean once you get the hang of it you pretty much can do it whoops just like that and we're gonna do another one we're gonna go up And like I said, it's okay. Okay. Now this is what we have. Okay. We have, we have done our wire up and just like this in a zigzag motion around our beads. Okay. So now I've ended I've ended my wire right here. And now we're going to go back. We're going to go around this one and around right here and up. Pull tightly. And then we're gonna turn and curve it around this one. And we're gonna do this side. I'll turn that and then we're back to the beginning so now we're just going to wrap around I'm just holding it and wrapping around and I'm going to cut this little tail off right here we're going to cut this little tail off okay and I'm going to squish it make sure it's not poking you or anything and just squish it down a little bit and I'm going to continue to wrap this around here till I can't anymore and then I'm going to snip it off just like this and I'm going to make sure to tuck it I'm making sure to tuck it in right there so that you can't feel it okay so this is what we have. This is what we have right now. And if you need to adjust your beads, you can. Um, and we're just gonna bend them up like this. We're gonna bend them like this right here. And we're gonna hold them down. And I'm gonna take And I'm going to wrap, whoops, wrap this wire around. Wrap it around. And we're securing our beads on here. Okay? Securing our beads on here. Whoops. Okay. So this is what we have. And you just shape it to you. If you want a teal teardrop or what. And you can use either side of your pendant that you just created. Okay. I'm probably going to use this side because I like the way that it looks. Okay. So we have this right here and we're going to take our round nose pliers and we're going to hold our wire. We're going to bend it over and then I'm going to make a big bail. So I'm grabbing my wire, grabbing, 
my wire and I'm going to come up and over till it touches and I'm going to open my pliers and twist them up and I'm going to take this wire and go to the back and then I'm going to open my pliers and move them forward and I'm going to make a thick bell. Now I'm going to have to take it out. Put our pliers back in and go back around. Back around to the back. And I'm going to do one more. Just like this. Just like this, okay? Now to hold our shape, we're going to hold it with our pliers just like this. And I'm going to bring this wire underneath and wrap it around it. And I'm just wrapping, wrapping, wrapping all the way around. And I'm trying to go back up there, go all the way back up. And I'm pulling kind of tight. And then I'm going back down. And this is a messy wrap because I don't mind messy wraps. So we're going to bring it to the front like this. Okay. Here we have. Yeah, I chose this side. And now I'm going to make like a little curl right there. So I'm going to take my pliers. And I'm just going to bend it. Bend it back on itself. Just like this. Okay, so we have this right here. And then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to hold it down. And I'm just going to turn. And I'm just turning to make a little spiral. Since this month's theme was spirals, I'm just making a little spiral. And, and there we go. There's our little spiral. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's not perfect in any means. There we go. And we just squish it in there. And that's our little pendant. Okay. Now, for our... um chain that we're going to use. Let's see if it'll fit. If I made if I made that hole, if I made this hole big enough. And if I did, well, yes, okay, I did. So, what I'm going to do is since this it's not going to lay right, I'm going to stick my round those pliers and I'm going to twist it to the front. Just like this. And there we go. And then we're just going to feed our chain through the hole that we created at the top. And you're going to pull gently. Just gently. Working it down the chain. That's all we're doing. Going to match up our ends. And this is kind of long. And I don't know how long it is because I didn't measure. But, um... Just gonna pull down our chain, okay, till it gets to the middle like this. And then here's this, okay. Let's see. I want to use if I got a different class. I'm not gonna use the one that came with the box. Because this necklace is not going to be heavy enough. So we're going to use a lobster clasp. And I don't have any copper. So we're just going to use a bronze one. And I am going to use a copper jump ring. Let's see. We're going to try the 4 millimeter jump ring. And then we're going to put a six. Is this a six? Um, a six on the other side to clasp onto. Okay. 
And this is the long part of the necklace. So we're not going to need to do anything with um, an extender or anything. So let's open in this. Open in this. We're going to put it on our chain. And then we're going to attach the lobster clasp. Which you can just pull this over your head. So there's no need to, um, to actually clasp it. But Okay. There's that. We're going to take the other side and put on... This six, I believe it's a six millimeter jump ring. We're just going to hook it on the end like this. And there we have it. And then Having issues. Clasp it on, and there we have it. Our pendant that we just made, and our necklace. Okay, so the next one, the short piece. I've already created this this strand right here, and I'm going to show you what you're going to need. Okay, you're going to need some copper, um, head for eye pins, these are eye pins, sorry, Lord have mercy. You're going to need the bead caps from the September bargain bead box, going to need the bead caps, and then we're gonna also going to use the carnelian beads. We're going to use the crystal bicones. You're also going to need the um, little sea green sea foam rondelles. You're going to need some jump rings. You're also going to need the um, pear shaped beads, pear shaped crystals and these to make our dangles. So, first things first, I'm using this eye pins, okay? And we're gonna make this dangle right here, which is um, a crystal bicone and a bead cap, a bead cap, the carnelian bead, Another bead cap and a crystal back home. Okay, that's one dangle. Then we're gonna take our flat nose pliers and do a 90 degree angle right there. And then we're gonna cut it off. And then we're gonna use our round nose pliers to create the loop. And just turn until your loop is created. And there's one dangle. We're gonna do three more of those for, for them. I wanna show it to you again. Crystal, bead cap, Carnelian and bead cap and crystal. Okay, another dangle. You're going to hold your beads, take your flat nose pliers, leave a little space to create your 90 degree angle. And then cut it off right there. And then we use our round nose pliers to create our loop. Okay. 
Oops. Can't grab hold of it. And then we just turn it on around until it meets itself. There we go. There's another one. One more of these and I'll show you how to make the other dangle. degree angle. Trim it off. Make our dangle. Okay. There's those three dangles right there. Now we're going to make the other ones. And the other one is you take one of the pair beads, one of the little C foam green crystal bicones. You take your charm or your charm bead. Another bead, another back, I mean another um rondelle and another pair bead. Do the same thing. You're just gonna leave a little space. You're gonna bend it over trim your eye pin and bend it over until it touches. There you go. There's that one. Let's make another one. You're doing your pear bead, your green rondelle, your metal bead, Rondelle pear bead. And I'm turning my pear beads where the little part is pointed in. And that's how I'm doing mine. You can do yours whichever way you want to. I think I got that one too short. I guess we'll find out. Oops, there we go. There's that one. And one more. Okay, now we have three dangles. We have these three dangles and these three. Okay, now, now what you're gonna need is you're gonna need the one of the little fan pieces, and you're gonna need an eye pin. And I'm gonna use one of the carnelian beads. If I can find my hole, carnelian bead. Put it in just like this. Whoops. Oh, one. Another crystal rondelle and a carnelian bead. And this is going to be our second set. So we're going to do this. We're going to fold it. Whoops. We're going to bend it at a 90 degree angle. And this one, we're only going to trim off a tiny bit. And then we're going to fold it, roll it up. And you're going to make sure that they're facing the same way. So you're going to take your pliers, you're going to take your pliers, you're going to hold it, and you're going to twist it 
to where they match. Are they matching yet? Not quite. Okay. So now they match. Okay. And there we have it. So how we did this is we took it and I'm going to lay it like this because this is how it's going to lay. Just like this. So we're going to take our little tiny four millimeter jump rings and we're going to open it up. Gonna open it up. And we're going to attach this side. Actually, we're going to do this. What I did was I took the jump ring and I hooked it on right here. And I hooked it on one of our other charms. And you're alternating the charms. That's all you're doing. Close that jump ring up. So there's one. Here's two. You're going to hook it on here. And hook on another one of these. The longer ones. I'm going to do it again. Attaching to one charm to the one with our carnelian on it. And closing it back up. Closing it back up. Okay. We have two more. Okay. Now we have this piece and we have this piece. And we're going to attach them right here. We're going to need some jump rings let's okay we're gonna take these these are the little bit bigger ones these are the six millimeter I believe um, but we're gonna open it up and attach it to one side one charm and attach it to one side of our pendant close it up really good Take our other one, same thing, hook it to our charm, and then hook it to our pendant, If you're wondering, I'm doing this off camera so I can actually see it. Okay, so this is what we have. This is what we have right here. Let me see. Okay, this is pretty short. So what I may do is see if I have any more chain. I have this one. This is Rolo chain, so that's what we're going to have to use because that's all I got. It's the only copper chain I got. And we're just going to add a little piece of chain to the back because I want my necklace to be a little bit longer. So, we're just going to add about five or six inches, maybe, of chain. Let's see, I'm trying to find tiny... And I thought I had copper. You know what? For this one, I think we will use one of the clasps. We will use one of the toggle clasps for this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Let's see. That's about, about how far I want it. Now, I'm not measuring because I like to make mine... If I'm gonna, if it's for me and this is for me, I'm not gonna sell this or anything. But uh, I like to make mine the way that I like them. So here's my chain. It's probably six, seven, eight inches, and we're gonna hook it on to our. Oh yeah, I do need one of our tiny jump rings onto our one of our charms.
And I'm going to go ahead and hook it on the other side, and then I'm going to cut it in the middle to put my toggle. So, if you're wondering what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. Trying to get my life together, because apparently I don't have it together today. So, we open that up. And we hook this on here. Well, I say we hook it on here. Hook it on here. Hook it on the other side of the necklace. Just like this. And that's the thing. When I say that I do my own the way I want to wear them, it's because everybody has their own preference to how they want their necklace to lay. So... You may like your necklace longer, or you might like it shorter. You might like it um, to be, um, what you call it. So, what I'm going to do to make it even is I'm going to hold, whoop, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to hold my chain up, and I'm going to put an eye pin through this jump ring and this jump ring. Just like this, to hold it down evenly. I'm going to take another one. I'm going to take another one. And I'm going. Well, it's kind of hard. Kind of hard to do on camera. At least the way I have my camera set up. And I'm just going to hold it up. And I'm going to find that middle link, which is right here. And I'm going to cut that middle link off. Just like that. So now we have two pieces. We'll take that eye pin out. And because we're using a toggle, we're going to use, let's see. Let's see if I can use the tiny four millimeter jump rings with it. Find another one. Okay, we have one, we're going to hook it on our toggle, and we're going to hook it on our chain. Just like this. And close it off. Well, close it off really good. Now we're going to do the other side. Hook it on. Hook it on our chain. Just like this. Okay. Here we go. We have like this. Now, I'm probably going to add probably not I'm just going to leave it like that so this is what we have so far this is what we have right here okay so we have this necklace and we have this necklace and they're going to layer have you zoomed out all the way so, we're going to have it like this, and this one is going to be up here like this. And it's probably going to be a little shorter than that, but that's okay. So, that's what we have. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little all over the place, but what else is new for my life? So, um... Tell me what you like about this video. Tell me, tell me which um, which one of these you liked better. If you liked this pendant better, or you liked this one with the different charms on it. Um, I hope you have a blessed, fabulous day. Remember, don't let anyone dull your sparkle. I would love to have you a member of my YouTube family, so please subscribe. Um, I plan on doing more tutorials coming up, um, or at least try to. And please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.